god, why do I keep forgetting? Okay. Oh boy. This episode is brought to you by Sheet Happens, where you can buy guitar and bass tablature books edited and approved by the artists themselves. Head over to their website at sheethappenspublishing.com and use code word DEAN at checkout for 15% off. Hey, my name is Dean. I play in a band called Archspire, and sometimes I do these videos where I'm like learning other people's stuff. So I'm gonna do one of those today. And I haven't done one for quite a while, and I've been getting lots of suggestions on like what I should learn. So I decided to disregard all of those suggestions and just learn uh, whatever the hell I wanted to. So we are gonna learn the solo from a track called Follow Your Ghost by Periphery, and it's Jake Bowen's solo, who is a very good guitar player. All those guys, very good guitar players. So we're gonna check it out and see what we're up against. Okay, I don't know what the hell the thing at the end was, but that looks cool. So I am in standard tuning. So I just tuned it down to drop D in the tab. And you can actually get this tab over at cheatheavenspublishing.com. Use my code word Dean for 15% off at checkout. We're just gonna tackle it, see if we can do it. Oh, that's cool. Okay, not too long of a solo. Uh, the shapes are gonna be weird. They always are with this band for some reason. Okay, so one thing you might notice is that I am trying my best to look down at my guitar right away. The quicker I get it off the paper or off the Guitar Pro file, the better. If you're sitting here for a while and learning it and, and you're so reliant on the tab and you look down and you can't remember what you learned, you're in a bad spot. So you gotta get it off the page as soon as you can. Not too hard so far. I'm hopeful, but it gets kind of weird. piecing these together now using fingers that I think kind of make sense, but at some point I might go back and adjust and see what the, uh, the linkages kind of turn out to be because linking these parts oftentimes requires you to change up your fingering a little bit. <laughs> Oh. Okay. Okay, so
Let's take a listen to it. One thing about his playing is that his bends are spot on. And we in the playthrough that we watched, it's like so awesome sounding. So uh, you gotta get those, like, the vibrato at that top of that bend. Man, it's part of the solo. Bend on the 11th fret? Oh. Okay, we'll have to figure that out as we get closer. I keep forgetting what's there. Oh my God, why do I keep hearing? Okay. Try half speed, I'm gonna struggle. 70% speed with a count in, boost up that volume just a bit. And a car alarm went off while I was trying that. So uh, I think I got a little bit of, a little bit of insight there. I just gotta turn up that metronome a bit. Okay, I'm feeling comfortable-ish enough to go to the next part. Oh, whoops. Oh, I see. Oh, okay, weird. Right, up to 60. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, okay. I'm so used to doing those in octaves and not all of these are in octaves, so, okay. Uh, raise seven, so major seven to, to an octave. And then up to an octave. Mm, no. Oh, it's nice when something clicks. Oh boy, trying it from the top with a count in seventy percent.
Okay. Hey, we're almost there. We're almost there. And that deserves a celebratory uh, bubbly. Not so bad. Lots of bends. That's a cool. That's a cool. Okay, the next one is weird. <laughs> It's, it's not a weird shape, it's just weird that we'd do it down in the first fret. Just because I'm playing this like big guitar, like an eight string guitar, I probably wouldn't do too much stuff down there. It's in fifths, or sorry, it's in uh, fives. Okay, so that's 70%. What does it sound like at full speed? It's not that hard of an arpeggio or a scale run. I think it is a little bit tricky just to get the flow of it. that ending is dude okay let me see if i can do the whole thing from memory Some small things aside, I think I have most of it, but we're gonna try 80% and see if we can get up there. Okay, I think that's probably as good as I'm gonna be able to do for that last bend. And we're gonna try 90%. I know I'm not there with a lot of this stuff, but I'm just gonna go for it. <laughs> okay, 90%, uh, not, not killing it, but I'm doing okay. We're doing okay. We're doing okay. Let's try 100. I know that I'm not getting that uh, that quintuplet run. Not very well. 4-4. Four, four, let's see. Whoops. <laughs> okay. Let's try 100. Let's do our best. Let's try it with the song. Let's see if we can do it.
All right, I don't think I did very good, but hey, thanks for joining me today. On Dean Attempts to Learn, uh, I'm just gonna take some suggestions in the comments. Please let me know what you want me to try and play. I mean, I haven't done these videos for a while, so it's nice to start with something that's not, I mean, I don't know how long that took, maybe 20 minutes? I, it's a wacky solo, but all their solos are pretty wacky. But yeah, that was fun. Uh, thanks to Jake for writing awesome music. If you like this kind of stuff, please share the other videos on my channel. I do a lot of stuff with my wife and we learn guitar riffs together and we have a really fun time doing it. So please check those videos out and I'll see you next time.